but I got this little creamer. Friday, get off my bed. Come on, let's, let's see who's here. Come on, hello. Um. Do you remember when he was really little? And you were encouraging and encouraging and encouraging him to get up on your bed. I said at that point you'd regret ever teaching him to jump up on your bed. And hey, guess what? He's shitting on it. Serves you right. There is a mark on the bottom. I don't know if you can see. Whether it is a W or an M, I'm not really sure. It's like a circle around it, but oh my God, I love this. Look at that pattern. Love it. It looks like it's like white chocolate. Then I found this. They had a lot of milk glass today. Oh my god, look at this beautiful shell. Can you die? No. Thank you, Deb. Look at this shell. Go on, drop I'm it. <laughs> so in love. And then this vase. There were two vases. They had a ton of those very angular ones, but this is, this reminded me of my lamp in my bedroom. That's what it looked like. It's bigger, but, and this has, this says something, it says... Living in the past. Put your reading okay. glasses on! No point but showing me. Right? So, these three... love then I uh, my friend who sent me all of that jewelry that I'm selling I've kept this necklace out it is so beautiful it's silver beads and garnet and it has a clasp let me see the clasp is all like all different size beads and I'm Looking that because I caught my finger on my piercing yesterday and it's, so it's a little sore. So there's the clasp. Let me turn it around so I can show you. Hobnob, yeah, yeah, hobnob. Thank you. She said hobnail, not hobnob. And then. See, hobnail milk glass. Flat ones. That's what it looks like close up. Look at that. Detail on these. I thought it was all Hazarai or whatever it is you call it. But because you got a load of money today before you went out, it was burning a fucking hole in your pocket and you had to buy a load of shite with it. This is just so pretty, so let's say remember you could get like that clip that and just clip it in the back and have this hanging. It's so pretty. Or you can move on to wear it on your own. And I'm not selling this piece. Not blurry. I'm going to do it with me like that. Fries and dip them in my um, blind. Put the pee pee pad out on the balcony instead of in the house. Just a thought. Then you wouldn't need nine million sensi warmers going at the same time to try and hide the stink. Ow, 
their heart. They've been in it. It beeped ages ago. What are you two? Can't drink anything hot. Can't eat anything hot. Maybe you should just mush everything up and eat it with a teaspoon. Oh my god, my apartment smells so good. That breeze. I hate the difference in. Ah! Fucking A! Look how they run the minute you've got food. Don't you wish you hadn't been feeding them human food and teasing them with human food ever since you got them so now you can't eat anything in peace? So you're fucking right. I hate the difference in lag time. Let me put you up. Should I put you up here? Westmore. Well, that was a W on one of them. I'm sure. No, this is not. Stupid fucking thing. Don't you love yelling at objects? Look at them. I love the garden chain and the milk glass I have. Oh, I'm just not. Okay. Uh, good enough. White milk glass is made by Westmore. So, this one has a W. This one, not a, it is old. They also had an Avon, like, raised container that was frosted glass with a cover. And it said on the bottom, Avon softening cream or something like that. Cobalt, what is, is that blue? Obviously. You can't have this baby because you have an upset chummy. So I have fries and Chick-fil-A sauce. Oops. And I dip and eat. Oh wow. When is there never fucking something wrong with you? Most people dip their chips in a sauce. You haven't fucking broken the atom. Let's go back and see what she said about her tooth. Feel like begging. When do you not feel like begging? And chick fil a sauce. And I dip and eat. I'm going to eat on this side with two pajamas. Funny thing I thought you had a tooth cavity on that side that you never got sorted out. Is it dark blue? Mm -mm. Mm, I think we're caught up. No doggies. No. We are like begging. This will match exactly the coach bag that I have tried to sell for years that nobody will buy. It's all leather in perfect condition. No. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, it's so loud out. Oh no, there's a lab. Renee says, hey, I have, I love cobalt vases and pink flowers look beautiful in it. I love carnations. Mmm, great. 
Sure. It hasn't come up yet because I paused her because my daughter came in to say goodnight. And I've just seen Honeybee is saying she'll send her extra money. Fuck's sake. Could you not have just given her the friggin' earrings? How much money has that woman given you over the time she's been watching you on there? And you couldn't just say, no, it's all right, Helen. I'll send them to you because you've been such a good friend in the past. See, that's how you show you're a kind person. Not by whinging and moaning how much it post costs to post to Canada. God! Just This is so delicious. Four thirty eight. Um, hmm. Oops. <clears throat> Some of you asked questions. I think I got two questions for one on Instagram. Hey, young Lola. And I only know one of the questions was something like, if I didn't make money on YouTube, would I do it? And I thought about this. And I can't imagine not sharing my life and not taking pictures and showing people things. Helen, I just mailed out the package, but it was $14.95, I think. $14. So, if you can, <clears throat> that's what the shipping was. Sorry it took me so long. Um, I always <coughs> charge lower. I know that you'll make up the difference if it costs more because I really don't know how much it is to ship. Prices went up too. Wow. So, it cost me $30 to mail out the things people bought on one of my lives. They paid for shipping. Of course they did. It was included in the price, you know? <laughs> but, it's like $5 a package. But Helen's is 14 because she's in Canada. So, I'm leaning on my table. Um, thank you. You're so sweet. I'm so sorry it took so long. I loathe going to the post office. Packing everything up, addressing it, it's such a big deal to me. It's like, it's one of the reasons I don't have a lot in my Etsy site. I just hate doing that shit. Wow. How difficult is it to put something in a padded envelope and write an address? Because you're always going on about how beautiful your handwriting is. And then... Stick a stamp on it and put it in a post box. Really. Such a hard life you lead. It's a fly on the floor. Fly came in when I opened the front door. Well, one door. Um, and I was thinking back to the apartment that I had in California, the one bedroom. In the living room alone, living room, dining room, there were, there's a little window as you came in, there was a nice big bay window in the kitchen. Then there was two corner windows in the dining room, sliders, and then a big window in the living room. And this apartment, and most of the apartments I see, have no light. This apartment has sliders, one and one window. It's just not enough. 
A guard of the mountains. Oh, thank God. I was thinking, Lori, that was shitty to do. She was giving them to her sister, and you're taking your sweet time. Hi, Diane. But I feel so lousy. How you have no idea. Something is really wrong with me. Mm-hmm. No I'm kidding. I'm seeing my doctor tomorrow at 12. Good. I'm glad. I let people set the price for what they want to pay. Andrea and I did a trade for amethyst and sterling silver earrings. She gave me a ton of wax and some bulbs. Um, Helen set her price. Thank you, Shall we speed her up so we get it up to where she is now? Um, Pardon me. Thelma Thrift bought that amber piece. So we like polish everything up. So. Okay. Oh, so I was saying. Yeah, I've always, even before YouTube was a thing, I've always been on discussion boards. Showing pictures of my animals, my birds. And I've always had hobbies of some sort. And I always wanted to share with people. So a picture. So, so YouTube, Instagram is up my alley. These are seasoned potatoes, and they're rather spicy. Did you catch that, everybody? She's got nothing to help with the pain. Come on. Rattle your tablets. Get them in the post. Hurry up. I seriously was thinking this quality of life is so terrible right now. Like, to be in that kind of pain all over my body. Unable to stand. Back killing. Fire killing. I'm in my leg, like, 70% better. I'm done. Just all of a sudden. I was talking to somebody whose friend has fibro. And the friend drinks during the day. So that's the only thing that helps. So, your friend who drinks during the day, who's got fibro, you feel sorry for them, but yet you rip, rip me apart for having the same thing. Mm -hmm. How's that fair? Yet you want sympathy for your imaginary fibro. Uh, <sighs> I don't think I played somewhere over rainbow. So I can't stand that song. Yeah, you did. I played other songs on Lincoln. Lincoln. The way that I look right now, I'm playing Lincoln. So such a heavy. <laughs> oh, see. That ruined my life. I can't dance anymore. I try, but it's not the same. I can't do what I want to do. Mm. I feel like I can never dance again. Okay, Beverly Sills. Never sing again. Remember Beverly Sills? I taught myself to play. That's what I'm saying. I would love to do it again, but you are Diane? But I don't want to cut my nails. <laughs> Jesus! Ready? Take it easy! Stop terrorizing the other animals. He really isn't. Terrorizing doesn't bite, right? He just wants to play. And Gucci is a jerk sometimes. I'm hungry. A little bitch. Come on up, you can sit up there. Come on, baby. I would be drinking right now with some sake, but I can't. The tooth will not be so yum. <laughs> That's where I made these in the air fryer. No, no, baby, go get But they're spicy. They're seasoned. It's the fried. I have to get more sauce. I'm addicted. Chick fil A sauce is crack. So, does anyone want to buy this Mark Jacobs little pouch? In that chicken sauce, it chicken sauce. I bought tilapia frozen from Walmart. I really like it. It's just a few, and they're frozen, like I said, in a bag, you know, individually packaged. And I like to pan fry them 
I'm gonna get a butter olive oil whatever pan is right, you know, whatever I have. Get a little bit of crispy, and then I'm gonna dip it in chicken flakes sauce. I was hesitant to get tilapia. Helen, you might be able to relate to this. I was, you know, someone put this in my head about tilapia, because tilapia is all farm raised. There's no such thing as a tilapia swimming in the ocean. It's so easy to make, you can make it, it won't taste exactly what it looks like. And farm raised fish, you pushing? Eat worms, like, so a lot of people are like, don't eat tilapia, because it eats fish, it eats worms. Well, okay, so, eating salmon, Fresh salmon, like not farm raised, but wild caught salmon, we know they ate, right? Other fish. Eating lobster and eating, this is why it's not kosher, but shrimp, clams, all those things that eat excrement from the bottom of the ocean. So, why would somebody be concerned about tilapia eating worms when all the other fish, it's not like they eat what you would want to put in your body? I mean, it really makes you think about being vegan or vegetarian, whatever. Because, like, even cows, unless you get grass fed, um, all the hormones and everything. So, you use that as bait for your other fish, right? Do you eat fish? Remember when I had worms and I fed the bearded dragon? That was a COVID bearded dragon. I can't believe I had that big tank in the little fish. So I, every time I buy tilapia, I think of that and I hate that person. Put that in my head because once you know, you know, you can't unknow. See, I love glitter. Like, I truly, if I was conscious of what I'm eating, which I'm so not conscious, I'm feeding into my eating addiction. But if I think about what I eat, so if I really think about deli meat or even eating beef, it's disgusting. It really is disgusting. The healthiest I ever felt in the thinnest I ever was was when I was my fist. I wish I could do that again. No, I don't say that. But, Lori, don't say that. If you wanted to do it again, you could. You're just not there. I'm not there. I don't care. I feel like I'm sort of killing myself for food. I've sort of given up. I, I have. I've sort of... This is making me emotional. I feel so lousy. Oh, here we go. Turn on the wire to work so they'll send you more money so you can buy more Easter eggs to eat. And Chick-fil-A sauce, whatever that is. If you were nice, I could possibly have some sympathy for you, but I just, I can't, sorry. So what I got is Chick-fil-A sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce. But more than that, because I still love leather and it's still, like, I'm too far removed and I can't watch that. The documentary. I cannot. So, I have a leather sofa, leather in my car, I have leather bags, I try, I don't. I'm too far removed from having that as a passion. So, and that's probably why, I, that is why. Well, you're vegetarian. You're not vegan. I smell poop! Oh, it's my breath. <laughs> My doctor, I left messages, and the person at the front desk, like, you know, I'm trying to say I have interstitial cystitis. They don't know what that is. And then I'm like, well, sciatica, because it's all part of it. So the doctor is like, well, you could take more Lyrica. Well, Lyrica honestly isn't helping. <laughs> Wait a minute, Renee. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go get it. Uh, I see. I love cheese and ice cream sandwich, too. Are you a thin or fat vegetarian? I could so easily be a vegetarian. Except for sushi, I love fish. fish. Let me go get the, the bottle and show you. This does not say chicken sauce, it says chick fill a. Irma, I know I showed you, but you're just getting on. So I got this one. And this. I love all my regulars around here. And this. What happened to the blind in pain? I love this, it's a shell. I know, look at that. Put jewelry in it. And then I got this scarf that I had put around my head. And of course, Friday wants it, but like, right? And then this, I showed you all this in a text, but Mark Jacobs. Oh, I know what to look for. You know, that's kind of fun that I know that. And you do too, Irma. I don't, I collect it sort of. Like when I see a piece that I love, I get it. And I have one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven of the hobnail blue like thing. I have some really pretty pieces. I used to love Lennox. Oh my god, my upstairs neighbor is like a horse. <laughs> it's a guy. He just walks so heavy. I'd love to rewind that and play it again. My upstairs neighbours is like a horse. He walks so heavy. Yeah, and you just fucking trip the light fantastic round yours, don't you? The camera doesn't wobble at all. It doesn't look like an earthquake when you move about. that are from family, french fries, and chicken sauce. Yes, everything in your apartment is very special. Explain yourself. See, can you can you see what you just did, Lardy? See how clever you are. You said no and you stuck to it and the dogs have stopped pestering now. Does that teach you anything? That's called discipline. child and I believe that a little humiliation will stop the behavior. Why do you know anything yeah. about discipline? Why is that bad to do? concerning for me because I'm trying to stave is that a word stave off the trolls and haters so there are certain signs that I use or look at um that alert me or flag me to certain things. 
No, you're paranoid. I have never stood in the corner. That was... This, I don't know if you went to a good school. Yes, it's a word. I don't know, you know, or where you went to school, but I went to a very good school system. Not to say that you didn't hear about that. I'm just saying, like, my school system in the East Coast would never allow you to give a present now to teachers. I, I'm still shocked when I hear people say, oh, I have to get a present for my son's teacher, my daughter's teacher. First of all, any gift you give them should be for the classroom. Like, not perfume, makeup, jewelry, whatever, uh, scentsy. It should be related to the school. And if I was allowed, I would give a gift card to like Staples, Amazon, you know, for school supplies that they usually have to pay. Not these frivolous, like stupid gifts. I don't know. I didn't grow up that way. You didn't grow up that way, being nice to people, giving them gifts. Yeah, I can see that. cauliflower um i love the broccoli tater tots whatever the broccoli cauliflower ones i really don't know. maybe if you hadn't eaten half a ton of spicy potatoes when you supposedly only have a quarter of a stomach, you might have felt better. I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> Melodramatic or what? Dying. I have a good time. The only problem with the rice cauliflower is because it looks like a potato a little bit. I can't gauge how much to eat and it really, and I eat too much of it. And because it's eat, like eating cauliflower, you know, like if I, I couldn't eat a whole head of cauliflower. If I had cauliflower all broken up in big chunks and I steamed it or boiled it or whatever, microwaved it, put salt and whatever you want to put on it, I'd only be able to eat a few pieces. The same with like broccoli. But when it's riced, it feels like rice. And I can eat more rice than I can cauliflower. I mean, of course they love them, but I don't feel that that's appropriate to give to a teacher. They, I'm sure they would much rather have something for the classroom. That's just my thought. That's how I grew up, where I grew up. We were not allowed as parents to give the teachers any gifts because let's face it you know some people can't afford to, to give gifts so the best thing to do rice, but but still you're not eating rice and from digestion it's still cauliflower um, I love any vegetable roasted is so good uh, it's not fair because not, some people are richer than others, some people can give more than others, and so the school system, which I feel like is one of the finest, of course it would is. not allow it. So it was an even playing field. It wasn't like you could, you know, give the teacher something really big and someone else give it teacher something small and then the teacher, you know, I don't know. It's just, I don't believe, I, I grew up that way, so. Oh, that's so sweet, honey bee. You're so cute. Why are you up her backside? I don't get it, honey. So many E's and you have to spell it, I'm sure, to everyone. But Mermy has an Etsy shop with bath bombs. Big, big, giant teddy bear. 
leave him alone. Uh, but that's old fashioned. You know, like I'm saying, I've heard people like Sam Sherman be thinking of, you know, what she's going to give the teachers. And I was like, where do you live that they allow that? They're called steak fries. Do you want to see? That's the key. Leave him alone. No way, he's a dumb breed. So big. Oh, and he is ginormous. I love it. And then I go. Okay, go to sleep. It's okay, baby. Mommy's just playing around. Oh, somebody call Animal Protection Services because Mommy's playing with you and bothering you while you're trying to sleep. That's what a dog is like. You belong to me. I decide when you sleep, when you play, okay? It's true. Mommy decides. You're a cunt. Look at the floppies. Look at the floppy and the smushed in face with the little black, black nose. It's like I'm gonna just suck on Mommy's finger. Doobie, doobie, doobie. So shove your hand in his mouth, then he'll bite you, then you'll complain about him biting you. He could. He was the same size as Pom Pom. Now he's giant dog! He turned into a big giant dog! Stop shouting! Because mommy gave you really good puppy food, you got real big. Yeah, mommy gave you really good puppy food and made her... What do they call it? Oh God, brain fog. Made her elderly dog, Pom Pom, eat the puppy food because she couldn't be asked buying her the food that she needed and buying you the food that you needed. But now that you're no longer a puppy, guess what? Pom Pom gets to eat proper food. <sighs> and your daddy's name was Hank and he must have been really big. <laughs> I love playing with him like this. He just like lightly chews. <laughs> Till the day he takes your finger off. He knows the camera's on. You're on TV! Freddy, you're on TV! You like being on TV? On the computer? You're licking? You're licking? Oh, what? No, no, we're not gonna lick our privates no yeah but you should see he's like gumming me like he could literally bite my finger off you know but he knows to control himself <laughs> yes he's neutered Standard poodles are amazing pets. Amazing. Oh my god, I'm in so much pain. My girlfriend had one, plus I grew up with poodles. I love standard poodles. Okay, should we, should we film this? Oh no. Guys, you guys, what is wrong with me? I'm going to turn into jewels and just live in my bed. Fuck off. <gasps> I was just about to switch off because you were boring me to fucking death and you couldn't help yourself what is it you say about the haters on your thing they give them long enough and they let their true colours show there you go slagging me off again really The only picture we ever saw of her was so highly filtered. You watching, Jules? Yeah. Are you still watching? I am, yeah. Are you in bed right now? Yes, I am. Everyone tell Jules, get out of bed. Rolo. Oh, so cute. Jules, get the fuck out of bed. You're just jealous. Even cancer patients are told to get up and walk. Do you actually think... 
that I'm in my bed 24-7 and I never move. Is that the impression you've got? When I said I'm bedroom bound, it means I'm in the bedroom. I have full reign of the upstairs of the house. I just don't go downstairs. That doesn't mean that I lie here all day, every day, and I don't move. And ugly is as ugly does, cunty. You've no idea what I do in a day. None. Mm -hmm. I could probably drink Chick-fil-A sauce. Why don't you? They're so fucking good. Sugar. Barbecue sauce. Yeah, very, very smart poodles in general. Your eyelid glitter is messing up the chat with that. Should I be concerned, you guys? I don't know. Tay Tay, what do you think? That's just weird. That, okay. Sorry, I love glitter. You saying you're not a troll or a hater doesn't mean anything, you know? Like, they would all say that too. But you're taking back your comments so that somebody else doesn't see that you've commented. Some, you are friends. Okay, I'm going to figure this all out. You are friends or you, are, you participate or you watch and participate on someone's channel that I don't like or that doesn't like me. And you really like me. And you want to be in the fold and you're you're writing stuff which has been fine why would anybody want to be in your folds Ugh. there's nothing you know you haven't written anything controversial and you're attracting it so that there's no record of it that i just figured it out <coughs> we'll let you guys catch up to what i said i'm so smart oh, of course you are logical smart i'm so logically smart nope I don't want that on my chat, to be honest. I'm sorry. You're up, you're, it's suspicious. Don't be suspicious, just be normal. And I don't know who else you watch, but they're the evil ones and not me. <laughs> yeah. Tay Tay in the house. Thank you, Irma. I'm a Long Islander too. For all of 10 seconds. Dead on, right? I'm gonna investigate. I'm gonna find out where else she hides. Paranoia, paranoia. <sighs> Like, let's say she is or likes one of the people that doesn't like me. She could never, ever admit to it because they will tear her apart and they turn on each other. No, 
you tear her apart if you found out that she likes somebody that you didn't like. Get it right. So. Oh yeah, I'm on a Fix Hills Huntington and I still remember my phone number. 516-667-3659. 97 people on I thought you were dying a minute ago. Why are you still on here? I was. Ten long with um, Big Souls Huntington. My grandparents lived in the cutest house on Belmore Road. <clears throat> it was a mid-century ranch. I know, it's crazy. Oh, you were what, you were in the, like, CH, like, that was a weirder, a weird system. Um, so they lived in this beautiful, tiny little ranch. It had a detached, I believe, two-car garage, but I was little, so it might have looked big. And my grandfather and I would go in there, and it smelled so good. It smelled like rubber. I had a scooter that we kept in there. Then they had a backyard that was partly grass and partly driveway, pavement. And they had a dog when I was very young, named Bambi. It was a mutt, but big, a big-ish big -ish dog. Well, their apart, their apart, their house, that's a people apart. I don't know where that is, but I know it's on Long Island. I loved it. And it was, it had those big, windows, the big plate glass, you know, big windows and then smaller ones on the bottom. And then it was a big open living room, dining room, just one big room with a pass, a see-through to the kitchen. The kitchen wasn't a galley kitchen. They had, I, God, I remember so much. They had one of those tables that had the metal, you know, like, concave metal stripping around it and the top was a darkish red pink laminate and then it had metal and then chairs that made sound when you I'm just having a break or I just had a break and um, I'm leaving this for a while till I sort out the first bit but I just want to say Lardy you keep saying the one time I came on, I had a, I was filtered to the, the nth degree, blah, 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 blah. Once I did an introduction, intro video thing to my channel and I was on there with a filter on of a fucking unicorn. I had a unicorn horn sticking out the front of my head. Yes, it was a filter, a fucking fun filter, not like the filters you use to try and filter out your ugly, but it still doesn't fucking work because you're ugly to the core and evil and nasty, which is why I'm doing what I'm doing in case any of your fucking minions come along and ask questions. That was the one time I ever used a filter. The rest of the time I've been on camera all the time without any makeup on ever.